Carl here from Games, Brains and Head Banging Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And it's album review. Really excited to talk to you about this one because it's Insomnium, the fin Finnish Metal Melancholists. They will release their ninth full length album, Anno, 1696 via Century Media Records on February 24th. There's a story around this album. Anno 1696 is a gateway into another world. This time around, Insomnium are telling a tale based on a short story by Nilo Savanian. Uh, bass and vocals, of course, in the band. And it basically summed up as Welcome to 1696, Welcome to Hell. It's an age of unrest, the age of great famine in the north. And the witch hunt is in full swing across Europe with witch trials, gruesome witch trials that have reached the remote and majestic landscapes of Finland and Sweden. There's a big story here. It's a concept record. I love it. Masters of Melancholic Metal and Exceptional Storytellers. It's Insomnium and they transport the listener back to forsaken times with Anno 1696, where the concept is realized in full, cold and horrifying detail, but are also enhanced by the short story that every listener should read. It comes with a short story. While it's not necessary to read it to enjoy the album overall, I certainly think it makes it understandable and more important. But we're not here to talk about the short story. We're here to talk about the music and what brilliant music it is. Insomnian rarely put a foot wrong when it comes to delivering unforgettable experiences. But Anno 1696, it's on another level. Eight tracks of heart-wrenching melancholy and intense metal experienced in all its grandeur with the opening track, 1696, before Insomnian deliver one of the best tracks they've ever written in White Christ. A track that sounds immensely miserable and is unashamedly heavy, enhanced by the guest vocals of Rotten Christ, Sacus Tollis, Ec epic misery, and Insomnium at our absolute best. This has been out for a while, you've heard it, it is one of the best songs they've written, released in a very long time. And man, that guest star, that guest vocals from Rotten Christ, Sacus Tollis, is just amazing. Bold and brazen, Insomnium continued to tell a lengthy but captivating tale with God Forsaken. The frosty guitar riffs, the earth-shattering drums, the guttural vocals, the passionate melodies. This is a larger-than-life experience, dripping in deep atmosphere and emotion throughout. Misery has never sounded so good. A strong showcase of classic Insomnium mellow death, Lillian features some stunning harmonies, delivering a peppier pace but still having the ever-consistent sense of drama that makes this band such a delight to listen to. Before it's back to epic melancholy with starless paths. The vocals are particularly scathing here, but balanced out by guitar, gorgeous guitar melodies and some of the deepest touches of ambience on the entire record. The pure power of this track will make the heart race with adrenaline. It's experimentation time though with The Witch Hunter, a wild ride of discombobulated rhythms and melodies. The chorus is an extraordinary part of the whole experience and it is both fascinating and heartening to hear this band continue to push themselves in such an eccentric way. Whereas the unrest also sees Insomnium offer up something different, an acoustic song with popular vocals. It serves to refresh the palette, still heavy on misery and atmosphere overall though. And finally, it is The Rapids, another extremely engaging effort that starts off in cinematic style before the tempo shifts and it becomes a more hyperactive and heavy listen. Across its seven plus minute runtime, it twists and turns like a body swinging from a noose in the freezing wind. It is incredible that this far into their career and so many are still capable of delivering unrivaled brilliance in a genre that, let's be honest, they have made their own. Anno 1696 is a thrilling and interesting concept, but musically, it's simply phenomenal. It's not hyperbole to say this is one of the best albums you'll hear this year. It is an album of the year contender. I fell in love with this. I've always enjoyed this band, but truth be told, I, I listen, I enjoy, I love it. I play it for like three months straight and then I forget about Insomnium until the next time. So when they released this album, that's exactly what happened. It was like, oh cool, Insomnia back, new song. 
checked out a few for single slams and was really enjoying it. So when this album came my way, it's like, right, this is 100% getting a review. I'm fairly, fairly confident I'm going to at least enjoy it. So there's no negativity here. And I adored it. I adored it so much. You wouldn't think this kind of music is the stuff you want to listen to over and over again, but it's freaking insomnium and they're fascinating. This album has so many layers, so much detail that you pick up in after multiple listens, going through it over and over again and finding new things and hearing new melodies and new harmonies and new vocal deliveries that you just didn't notice before and just thinking, oh my God, how can it be this good? All with this amazing witch hunter, you know, old era concept that just resonates, comes through without even having read it. I think most people, if you don't even read it or know the concept, I think you'd understand or at least get elements of, okay, this is a dark, this is an uncomfortable, this is an evil time. I can feel the frigid wind. I can feel the danger in the air. Sometimes it's so damn right miserable. Other times it's like the fire has been lit under the band, under us, as I would be burned at the stake. It is incredible. Um, you got to check this one out. It's Anno 1696. It's out on February 24th, 2023 by Century Media Records. Do it! Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, consider donating to keep the website and channel running by buying us a coffee via our coffee page or picking up some merch from our big cartel store. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as via our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as listen to our interviews via SoundCloud, Apple Music, and Spotify. Just search for GBHBL. Games, horror, and heavy metal. What else is life for?